local community in a state of trauma. At one of the six new designated COVID hospitals in Rome, they're taking no risks. We're ushered into a lift, only two allowed at once. You can just feel how stressed everyone is, so... It feels overworked already. The health director arriving in a separate lift to show us to intensive care. He hasn't taken a day off for weeks and he's working 14 hours a day. So I asked him how he's feeling, how it is, and he said, Pizzante. Translated literally, that means heavy, but the reality is it means much more. Last year. For many staff, the mental torment is worse than the physical pressure of this crisis. As they fight to keep patients alive, they carry a fear of their own exposure to the virus. At least 80 doctors and 21 nurses have now lost their lives to COVID-19 in Italy. Two more nurses have died from suicide. Because, unfortunately, nonostante tutte le precauzioni, all'inizio tutti siamo non abbiamo ritenuto che dovevamo comportarci in maniera eh, ferrea, militare praticamente. As they grieve the colleagues they've lost, they're working to compensate for those in quarantine. Here in Brescia, Lombardy, more than 300 staff in this hospital alone have tested positive for COVID-19. Precious new beds and intensive care lay empty due to a lack of healthy medics. Director of the Infectious Diseases Unit there described to us the impact of living with the fear of contagion. We were asking each other who would be the next, and uh, that of course is psychologically demanding also because we are, uh, apart from being colleagues, we are, uh, we are friends. We are also isolated, each of us at home, because we fear also to maybe to, to transfer the contagion to our beloved ones. So, if you put all that together, the workload, the fatigue, the tiredness, uh, that is really psychologically demanding. We came to ask the Public Health Institute just why so many frontline staff have died and become infected. When you have what we call aerosol generating procedures, uh, so when you, you assist patients and a disease that is normally transmitted through large droplets becomes transmitted through the air, so it spreads much, much wider. Uh, and of course, the people who are more exposed to that are the people who are at closer contact with patients and are involved in those medical procedures. The situation was discovered when it was already um, a large issue. Okay. Protective equipment for hospital staff is now a top priority, but there's still a shortage of masks for GPs in Italy. Generations of medics risking their lives to work in circumstances they may never have imagined. Sally Lockwood, Sky News, Rome.